Hey guys, we're in the backyard uh, with my new hammock set up. I'll do a video on that later, but tonight, uh, before I lose the light, I want to try to cook some bacon using my Fancy Feast stove from Zelf Stoves with the simmering. We'll be using some yellow uh, bottle heat for our fuel source. And I'm going to try cooking on these pans that I got from Mass Drop. I got two of these um, Tokes pans, they're like seven and a half inches wide. Um, they weigh 2.1 ounces a piece and they each came in a little orange uh, stuff sack but I don't have those here but uh, so two of these for about 30 bucks on mass drop I haven't been able to see any videos on these so I'm gonna try to cook bacon uh, on this stove and I've got a pot grip you know from an old camping set I had and I've got some Martin's smoked bacon so a local place down the store makes the best bacon I've ever seen so we're gonna try to light this with a zippo. Let's do it this way. There we go. Okay. Put ourselves there. Putting the simmer ring on because I'm thinking the flame's gonna be too hot for for this, but we'll try it. Titanium does not um, disperse heat very evenly, so it usually just has a hot spot, but we'll see how this goes. Well, something I didn't take into account. I don't know if you can see this from back there, but I've only got about three pieces of bacon in there. Simmering seems to be getting really hot on this side. I've not used the simmering before on this thing, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to get hot or not. Um, but it's really hot on this side. This side of the pan seems to be the hot spot. It's kind of precarious, not uh, even the pot stand for the pot grabber. I hope you can hear me. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm probably mumbling over the grease. Alright, we're a couple of minutes in. And you can see that this one area of the pan here is getting black. And over there, kind of a slow process. I'm going to take you down here. So I'll smell this. Kind of red hot. I don't know if it's like that on the other side. Keep a look. Yeah. Since we're getting that way around all the holes, that may be a normal thing. I normally don't put my bacon this much, but I'm just I'm not sure how this is going to work, so I want to check it frequently.
We can put about an ounce of uh, fuel in here, so we'll see how long this goes. This may be a very fuel intensive operation. It's just starting to really blacken up the pan here, smoking. I don't know if the pan, pan may be getting distorted too, which is not a good thing. Pan's getting really black and the bacon is starting to burn on the end over there. So I think we're going to call an end to this experiment um, right now. It could be user error too, but um, I just think that the unevenness of the, of the pan is hard to work with. And then what I'll do is I'll, once this pan cools off, I'll wash it off and see if we have any issues with the pan. I know titanium can discolor when it's when it's heated, but um, we'll see what's going on with this pan after I have a chance to cool it off. I don't know how, how well this is going to show up on camera, guys, but um, here's the pan. I've scrubbed it with a green scrubby pad, an SOS pad, some barkeeper's friend. You can see there's still some black on there. Hopefully you can see that. Of course, there's some dog hair because I can't do anything without dog hair around here. So, oddly enough, the bottom is fairly clean. A little bit of discoloration. So if you're one of those guys who doesn't like to dirty their gear or like to like make marks in it or whatnot, I mean, that's, that's what happens. So these may not be for you if that's the case, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like after I tried to clean it.